Hi there, Wayne Jennings here. I'm just out for a morning paddle. You know, when you're out in the water, it's always a good idea to have some kind of a safety kit with you, a length of rope, a bailing bucket, some kind of signaling device. Well, here's the company that puts all that together for you in one convenient package. This is made by Fox 40. It's the Paddler's Safety Kit. Let's check it out. So it's always good to be prepared uh, for an emergency when you're out in the water. Now, I've never used a dedicated safety kit. I've always just kind of scrounged together things I know I'm gonna need. For instance, rope. I've always got rope nearby. There's plenty of rope on the bow and the stern, so that's taken care of. When it comes to bailing, I find these work just fine. This is a yogurt or ice cream container. They do a really good job. And I usually always have something like a flashlight in my day pack, so if it's nighttime, I can use that to signal. And of course, on my PFD, I've always got a whistle. So the basics are all taken care of. However, the people at Fox 40, you've probably heard of them, they make whistles. Well, they have an outdoor and marine division. They sent me this to check out. This is their paddler's safety pack. And basically, as the name implies, it's a little pack with all kinds of safety gear inside. So let's just open it up, see what's in there. First of all, it's a waterproof container. It's uh, the kind of bag that, you know, you roll the top down, seal it up. So you can keep the contents dry inside, but there's also a clear window in the front so you can see at a glance what's in there. Let's see what is in there. We got, of course, a length of rope, and this looks like really good quality rope. So that's always good to have. There's a, uh, well, looks like a strap, which is a, a good idea because this has a couple of D-rings on it here. So you could put the strap on, carry that over your shoulder on a portage, or use that strap to strap it into the boat so you're not going to lose it overboard. And of course inside we've got, well, there's your main thing, your bailing bucket there. It's got a screw-on lid with a handle, so that's handy so you don't lose it. You can tie that up. And it looks like a pretty good size. You can get a lot of water out with that. Now, here's something kind of neat, which I never really thought of, but how simple is that? It's a sponge. Uh, I mean, how many times have you had to bail and you get to the bottom and there's like that half inch of water you just can't get out? <laughs> well, sponge, what a great idea. I should have thought about that years ago. Uh, there's a compass in here and that's a actually half decent looking compass. Good size too. We've got a couple of glow sticks. They don't require batteries. That's a good thing to have. Those will last a long, long time. But there is a little flashlight, a little LED flashlight here with a little carabiner there. And uh, of course, what would a Fox 40 kit be without a Fox 40 whistle? <laughs> yep, that works. Oh, and in the bottom of the bag, there's something else here. We also have, look at this. A micro first aid kit. Now I always carry a first aid kit, you know, separate, but this one would be very handy. So a great thing to add to your safety kit. Now, one other thing that Fox 40 sent me, I just want to show you this because it's, it's actually kind of cute. Check that out. Yeah, that's a paddle. Tiny, isn't it? Well, of course, it's an emergency paddle. It's uh, 21 inches long, that's about half a meter, and it uh, telescopes out to double the length, 42 inches. Now, of course, this is just for emergency. You know, it's not gonna be your main paddle, but let's stick it in the water and see how it works. All right, so it's a lot smaller than my normal paddle here. Uh, it is adjustable, you know, I can make it smaller. Not that I'd want to. So I'd want it at its maximum length, but it seems pretty actually rigid for a small, compact folding handle. I mean. It's pretty stiff, made out of aluminum, so it's good and strong, and it's got these really thick poly blades, so hopefully it'll stand up. Uh, the handle looks, yeah, pretty comfortable, but it's got like, kind of like a boat hook on there, so if I need to reach in and grab something, I could do that as well. And there's a little hole in there if I need to tie a lanyard on it or something. Anyways, let's uh, dip it in and see how it works here.
Okay, it's definitely, uh, definitely doesn't give me quite as much control as my regular paddle. Uh, definitely not as long as what I'm used to. The shaft is a little thinner, but you know, the blade is a half decent size that I can get enough thrust there if I had to. So in an emergency, it would definitely get you home.